channel. Today I created this Lady Gaga inspired makeup from the 2018 Grammys. I'm a little late in the game posting this, but I thought it would be a great time to post it for Valentine's Day because I would definitely rock this for a Valentine's Day look, even though George said that I look like a loca. Um, I think that this makeup is beautiful. Shout out to the makeup artist Sarah Tano, which I'll link right over here so you can check out her Instagram. I think this look is beautiful. It's out of the box. It's not winged. It's rounded. It's so constructed. There's no highlight in the inner corner except the glitter. It is just amazing. I think it's really fun and out of the box to put glitter all over the brow bone, which I've never, I don't think I've ever done that actually. If you like this look, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Before you even watch the video, just give it a huge thumbs up and stay tuned and keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with using Soft Ochre from MAC. It's a very light base. I'm going to use that all over my eyelids to make them nice and light. Alright, I'm going to go into MAC's Smolder Eye Cool. I'm going to kind of cr create my, or map out my shape on my eye. The reason I chose a coal pencil is because it's going to give me a nice smudgy base to work with. I'm patting shadows on top of this, so. And I'm going to roughly do that shape that Gaga had which was this winged out shape. It actually didn't go to a point. It actually went out to more of a rounded edge. It's important to do this when your eyes are open too, so you can see exactly where you're doing this. So I roughly did that, and then I'm gonna take a pencil brush. This is a MAC 219 pencil brush. I actually heard that MAC is changing all of their brushes to synthetic, which I have no problem with. But I've heard reviews on the brushes and I hear they're awful. <laughs> Which is so disappointing because MAC is my favorite brush brand. Right, so now that I have that shape roughly mapped out with a, a smolder eye cold from MAC, I'm going to actually use a NARS eyeshadow. And this eyeshadow is called Night, Night Breed. It's this black. It has all these silver glitters in it, which is great for this look because Gaga had glitter all over. So on top of this um, smolder eye coal, I'm going to just pack it on. I find when I use this eyeshadow that the glitter really does not show up that much. But using a sticky base like this eye coal is going to make the glitter show up more. And we're also going to add glitter on top of this anyway, so it's not a big deal. I think what I might do in the crease is take a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of bronzer, but nothing too crazy. I'm going to probably go in with a little bit of Laguna from NARS. And I'm going to go in with my brush and just blend out that edge. Yeah, I think that's nice because it's not too, um, too much of a color. I use bronzer and blush on my eyes all the time. All the time. I just think that since they're natural tones, Kind of ties everything in together i'm getting the tiniest amount in my brush and barely putting that on my lid oh and i'm actually doing my eyes first in this tutorial because we're going to be working with glitter and i don't want glitter all over my face so that's what i'm doing so i did that i'm going to take a little bit more of this shadow with my finger now and really pack it on because i just want this to be so black I'm gonna take a little bit of this NYX face and body glitter in the number 10 and I'm gonna use that on my eyelids with the NYX glitter glue I always talk about this all the time I think it's the glitter primer this guy mine actually broke which is really annoying but I'm always talking about this on my channel I think it's the best glitter glue it doesn't really mess up the shadow underneath and it really does work so I'm opening up this glitter I'm gonna go in with the glitter primer first and take a little bit on the back of my hand and what I like to do is with my finger, I like to pat this all over the lid. Okay. And with the fluffy brush, I'm gonna pat it right on top. And with a little bit of that shadow right on top because I might have gotten that a little too silver. And you wanna make sure that the glitter focuses near the root of the eye. Or the lash line and then blows itself up 
I'm gonna do the same on the other eye and I'll be right back. All right, so now I applied the glitter on both eyes. It took a little bit of blending and layering, so I kept sandwiching the NYX primer with a little bit of that shadow from NARS. Sandwiching and blending and sandwiching and blending, but I got it like this. So it should look something like this, where the glitter is more focused on the lash line and then kind of blows out as it goes up long. I'm gonna use, this is a little sample jar of some MAC Reflex glitter. Um, I don't remember the name of this exact glitter, but I know that the actual makeup artist for Lady Gaga used a white glitter. Unfortunately, I don't have a pure white glitter. I'm gonna use a eye shader brush from Royal and Langnickel, and I'm gonna just take a little bit of this glitter, and I'm gonna pack this all over, including underneath the brow bone. I never, ever apply this, like, glitter under my brow bone, but this look is a look that is very different from what I normally do. So this is why I was saying before that you wanted to make sure that your um, brow bone was nice and clear. Because if I put this on like a bunch of little hairs underneath my brow bone, that would look really, really ratchet. So you wanna make sure your eyebrows are nice and clean. And I'm focusing that right under the brow bone and then fading it into the rest of the, the makeup. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of the silver glitter that we used before i'm going to take my finger hopefully i don't wreck i don't regret this but i'm going to pat this up going upward so that it blends with the other glitter yeah i like that i think that worked i have glitter all over my face right now now my favorite part that i'm off flat filming i'm going to go into my waterline And I'm watering, I'm filling with them extremely heavily. Also, I used a wipe and I kind of wiped off most of the glitter that's on my face. And I made sure, I made the bottom part a little sharp, but I made sure that the edges were still rounded out because Lady Gaga's makeup was definitely more rounded out on the outside. Okay, now I'm going to take my pencil brush again and I'm going to smudge all of that eyeliner into the rest of it. I'm gonna do my brows off camera and curl my lashes and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. As you can see, all I did was I used a little bit more of that smoother eyeliner and I tight lined. So I used a little eyeliner on the upper waterline and I put on some mascara and then I used Tartise Pro Lashes in the style Goddess. These are nice and wispy. Lady Gaga's lashes look like wispy, PC lashes, so I used those. And I did my brows off of camera. All I used was Elf's, um, little brow pomade. I use this all the time in my brows. I did that and then I went in with a little bit of NARS eyebrow gel that has a little color to pull up the brows from the front. Lady Gaga's eyebrows in this look was were very dark. She had she has very, very bleach blonde hair, but her eyebrows were super dark. So I went with very dark eyebrows today as well. And my face, all I did was I took a little bit of scotch tape and cleaned up any glitter that would have fallen all over my face. And I went in with Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Primer. I like this primer when I want a matte skin texture because I'm going to go in with something kind of glowy on top. So that's what I did off of camera. Now I'm going to go into this glitter. This is by Santi. I think it's called Santi. Santi Beauty. And it's just like a generic silver glitter liner. It's nothing nothing expensive or crazy. I actually got this on Shop Miss A for like a dollar. I'm going to use that in the inner corners of the eye. That's what Lady Gaga looks like she has in all the videos and pictures I can see. She has like a rim of silver gla uh, liner around here. So I hope you can see that. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here and right here. So literally I'm hugging the inner tear duct with this glitter. See, so when the light hits it, you can see that little pop of glitter. All right, so for the face, I'm gonna be using something brand new. Hopefully this works out. If it doesn't work out, I will take it off and try something else. But this is the Wet n Wild's new Mega Cushion, <clears throat> Mega Cushion Foundation. It's, the, it's a, one of those cushion compact foundations. I had a coupon for this. It was a coupon at Walgreens 
for a dollar off and then they also had like a little thing with sticker and it had little swatches of the foundation you put on your face which I thought was genius it was just really really nice especially for a drugstore so this is what the packaging looks like it has a cute little like Harajuku girl on the front and then you open it and inside is a mirror which is very very much appreciated and then it has the compact here and if you flip this open there is the foundation I chose the color natural beige so let's hope that this works for me um, I also should mention that I did moisturize before I started this video so this claims to have like a glowy finish or a natural glowy finish and you can build it and it has a coconut derivative I chose this foundation because the day of the Grammys Lady Gaga skin just looked beautiful and radiant so I wanted to try something wow that's really good coverage I did not expect that at all and this is like my bad side my face is breaking out a lot lately and I have been using I, I if you don't know I work for NARS and I've been using our new natural radiant longwear foundation which I really like a lot but I don't that's the only thing I can think of that can be breaking me out because that's the only new thing I've been using on my skin and I don't I don't feel a reaction to it or anything so I don't know if it's just like a matter of me getting used to it but I think it's breaking me out Wow look at this this is freaking beautiful I don't know if you could tell but look at that side of my face and then look at this side I'll look straight on for you this is amazing amazing wow and that's the side where I had a lot of breakouts this is amazing the color looks like maybe a tiny bit too light for me um, but I can always bronze up later I'd rather it be a little bit light than orange and it has a scent which I hate scents to uh, foundation but it doesn't smell like it's something artificial it almost smells like maybe that's the coconut derivative or something okay that's an A plus for me hopefully this lasts really long I will definitely in the description below I will let you know how long it lasted and how well it held up on my face I um, mean it's really late right now it's like 9 30 at night and I'm not really going anywhere but I'll let you see how know how it kind of held up throughout the night but that is beautiful love it love it love it love it I'm gonna go in with a little concealer this part I'm gonna skip over because it's my regular routine and I'll be back okay all I did was put on my concealer which I use NARS soft matte complete concealer and then I used a little bit of lagoon um soft velvet loose powder from NARS as well all over my face and I didn't I kind of focus it more in the center of the face like I usually do because I wanted to keep that glow and then I used a little bit of Laguna bronzer just on my forehead and a little bit on the cheekbones now I'm going to go into max taupe blush I believe this is a pro blush only but if any contour uh, powder will do anything that has a little cool tone to it nothing orangey I'm gonna use that on the backs of the cheekbones I know this Lady Gaga's makeup was just sculpted on the back so I'm really just focusing in the back and then putting it up okay I'm also using a MAC 168 brush to do this you can use any angle brush will do or whatever you choose to use for your contour all right so I'm gonna go into a nice soft pink blush this is Dame by Mac hopefully they still make it but anything light dusty rosy kind of a blush will do and I'm gonna just take a little tiny bit of that not a lot this was not a blushy look she really kept the focus on the eyes and the brows so I'm gonna just barely kiss it on my cheeks I really love this foundation like really 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 love it I think it looks so nice and it feels nice on the skin I almost expected I don't know why I felt expected it to feel like greasy on my skin but this is not a greasy foundation at all it look look how nice it looks it just looks really really good I can't believe how cheap it was wet n wild is like one of hands down one of my favorite drugstore brands I think that they hit it out of the park all the time and they're so affordable it's crazy this is a ColourPop lippy stick that my friend Desi gave me. It is a collaboration with Beautycon, and the color is Beautycon. So I doubt you can get this um, anymore. But it's really nice, satiny, kind of a rosy, dusty, rosy kind of a lip. All right, so that's pretty much the look. The only last and final thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of glow onto the cheekbones. Lady Gaga actually used some glow chip 
some glow drops from Marc Jacob Beauty. Unfortunately, I do not have the coins for no Marc Mark Jacobs Beauty. But I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Tem2 um, and BoxyCharm collaboration liquid drops. But any glowy liquid will do. I love these drops. I wish they made them permanently. You could actually use as a substitute. You could use, I know, um, Sephora brand their in-house brand makes really beautiful glowy drops and every brand pretty much makes some glowy drops right now right, and that completes this valentine's day slash lady gaga grammy 2018 recreation makeup i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i really really love the way that this came out it was actually fairly simple the hardest part about this look was just trying to make sure that you get the nice blend of the glitters but other than and cleaning the glitter off your face but other than that it was pretty simple i hope you enjoyed this look please subscribe to my channel if you are subscribed to my channel please make sure to hit that notification bell down below it'll notify you every time i upload a new video so you'll get to, to know when i do um also make sure to follow me on all my social media handles which i'll put over here and thank you so so much for watching i'll see you guys later bye